J. Campbell, the definitive testosterone replacement therapy manual written by my man, J. Campbell, joining us in the studio today. How you doing, man? What's going on, guys? How are you? Thanks Good. for having me in. Yeah, you bet. And then also joining us today, Joey Wilder, San Diego Protein Company. Thanks for coming back, bud. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet. My co-host, Oscar Gastelum, area manager of South Pacific Financial. How you guys doing? All right. Uh, you can listen to us live at thecorehourlive.com and also follow us on Facebook at The Core Hour on ESPN. It's officially December, December 1st today. Ace. Everybody got the ice. Ace. 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 It went by fast. Totally. All right. Uh, before we get into to Jay and testosterone replacement, I wanted to touch on uh, Joey and give you an opportunity to talk about San Diego Protein Company again, have you back. Great to have you back, and uh, I'm looking at your donuts, bro. Pass the sprinkles. 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 All about the sprinkles. So update us on what you've been what you've been doing since we had you on last. Um, you know, one thing that we've added is a website. I think last time you guys had us on, we were maybe like six days old. We were still fairly new. So I mean, we've got our website up and running, www.sandiegoprotein.com. We also have a store locator. You know, we have multiple retailers in San Diego now from 619 Muscle to Fit Athletic to Nutrition Zone downtown. Um, we also do nationwide shipping. So I mean, even your relatives on the East Coast, Midwest, I've shipped to Canada a couple times as well. Man, a lot of good things since last you were on, huh? Yeah, definitely. So it's you are a... downstairs, Nutrition Zone mm -hmm. in downtown. Yeah. Good Lord, I'm in trouble. Cut, 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 I'm in oh, trouble. Yeah, it's right down the street for you. Yeah. Looking and, forward to that. Uh, Jay was eyeballing them and had some questions for you. So Jay, I'm gonna ask since since we know Joey and we kind of have an idea of the product, ask, ask some questions that you would that you'd want to know. Um, well, I mean, first off, how the heck do you guys make a donut, <laughs> a protein donut with one gram of sugar that looks as delectable as those do? Um, you know, I think one thing I said on the first segment you guys had me on was I'm big on presentation. I mean, most of the time we judge something with our eyes before we even look at the label. If it looks good, we assume it's going to taste good as well. So, I mean, it comes down to the base of the product, which is egg whites, sweet potato, and whey isolate. It's got a few other accessory ingredients in it, but the whole concept is it's made out of whole real foods. Right. So, I mean, it's kind of meant to get rid of that stigma that dieting and health food has to be tasteless and boring. Right. I mean, there's nothing boring at all about a donut. So it has 15 grams, I was looking at it, has 15 grams of protein per donut? Yeah, between 15 and 18, wow. depending on the flavor per, that per you have. Per donut or per package? Per donut. So wow. each package has two donuts so in it. So that means I've got to eat two I got donuts. To <laughs> 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 I only know our post-workout nutrition is two donuts. <laughs> and that's actually what you recommend, right, yeah. Joey? I mean, usually that's it's, it's a great post. Yeah, that's what I recommend for most males. I mean, obviously everyone is different, but who's Anthony really might need four? Yeah, no. I was gonna say who's really gonna need one in the package? Because I'm more manly, or because I need more man? I will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> Testosterone replacement coming yeah. in, coming to you shortly. Let's just say it had something to do with the pink sprinkles. But uh, we'll yeah, leave it at that. Yeah, fair, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Joe. Um, We're over here cracking jokes. Oh uh, no, it's fine. But yeah, I mean, I always recommend that. I mean, for a male, most male athletes, I recommend at least two because you're getting close to 40 grams of protein. Right. You know, around 15 to 16 grams of carbs and less than six grams of fat. So, I mean, it's it's good whole food. So, what are the carbs then? Because it's one gram of sugar. So, it's, do you have like a replacement sugar or is it like a stevia or what is in there? So, even down to the sprinkles, those are stevia and trivia based. Awesome. So, we have those outsourced and the carb that actually comes from the sweet potato that we use in it. So, are you, so is your manufacturing place here in San Diego or SoCal or do you have it done it, somewhere else? It's, it's all still hand done by me wow. in a grade A commercial kitchen. Dude. Um, it, it's been really Sounds exciting. Sounds like you might need some investors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely, you know, we're getting to that point where, I mean, orders are constantly coming in and out. I mean, I've shipped to New York, I've shipped to Canada, I've shipped to Florida. I mean, I, I've shipped pretty much all around the U.S. And at this point, it's not the how, it's the when we're going right. to move to the manufacturing point awesome. of actually. And we met, Joey, obviously, a few months ago. You were on the show six days after you launched this company. We immediately saw something that we saw at the very least that the fitness world was definitely attracted to. We definitely all love donuts. And of mm -hmm. course, when they have protein, yeah. they're as tasty and healthy as yours. But I mean, you've had substantial growth in, in the last several months. What's What's been feeding the, the, uh, the growth? Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything that's directly link, linked to feeding the growth. I mean, mm -hmm. I just had a vision in my head of what I wanted to do. And I was never satisfied with whose hands it got into mm -hmm. and the level that it got to. I mean, I'm constantly trying to grow it and get it into different nutrition shops. Mm -hmm. One thing that we have on the horizon is a partnership with Windmill Farms. Mm -hmm. So I mean, wow. I feel like that's on the same lines Beautiful. of Sprouts, but yeah. Sprouts is a little bit more challenging to get into. 
and there's a few hoops that I want to get through first before I go to that point. And there's a windmill furnace right by my house, and it's yeah. lacking. So that's uh, that's perfect. We've got stuff, your so. pink sprinkle donuts. <laughs> Give me, you better keep a stock with pink sprinkle. Yeah, he's like making sure it's over here next. Hey, to Joe, Joe, you mentioned yeah, you know you've actually shipped all the way to New York. Mm -hmm. What about you know the ability, shipping? I mean, how do you handle how do you ship a donut to New York without it affecting its taste and quality? Yeah, so that's something that it took a lot of trial and error. Mm -hmm. You know, thankfully I have family on the East Coast in Tennessee that I was able to test it on. <laughs> so when they're shipped, they're actually shipped in their boxes that you're seeing here but each donut comes in the dough form it's inside a plastic wrap and the frosting and sprinkles come in little containers mm. inside of the box so they don't come pre-made like you see them here mm -hmm. but it comes with an entire sheet kind of walking you through the care for your donuts it also has <laughs> hand you're making your own donuts yeah yeah i, love it. Yeah, that, I mean it gives the them the same experience and like excitement that I get out of making it because it's really exciting to I mean sitting there making a donut knowing that it's healthy right. that you don't have to feel That's guilty about best. eating this right. and I mean it even has like funny jokes if you want that fresh out of the box taste pop it into the microwave for 10 seconds right. and then go at it don't well, worry you don't have to feel guilty well here's my spin on this you guys know this Fast food and instantaneous or instant gratification food that's unhealthy is going it's going away. It's mm -hmm. dinosaurs time, right. right? So, like I just saw the other day, McDonald's closed 480 franchises in North America. Oh, wow. Right. So the reality that's is great. is that not just bodybuilders, fitness, physique folks, this is something that the general population will probably be as long as it tastes great. I was saying yeah. it tastes great, but I go by what you guys said. Um, it will be into. Because this is the movement, I think, going sure. forward that people want healthier options. Yeah. Seems like healthy, being healthy and being into fitness is the cool right. thing to do now. Yeah. Is right. it social media? You guys think that that's the driving force there where, you know, everybody's putting It's definitely a platform. I for think sure. it's a platform for sure. And for it's sure. one of those things where we hope that, you know, by people feeling, uh, um, the accountability by posting this stuff. Right. Hopefully, it'll keep and and it doesn't become just a trend. I mean, we want this to be around. I mean, right. our society, especially here in the U.S., we need this. Yes, I mean, I, I literally got an email this morning. I was going to text you guys and just laugh because it could be another topic for another day. But in, they they predict in Mexico by two thousand, one out of every two people have diabetes. Yeah, I wow. believe it. Wow, I believe I it. Mean, Joey, gluten free? Yes, gluten free. Huge. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Give Jay one, so we'll keep talking to you right. about Jay. Do you, do you want his pink sprinkle one? <laughs> no, you will not have his pink sprinkle one. <laughs> that was not an option. You can eat that bad boy in the air, man. I've seen it live right now. So, you know, let's talk about costs a little bit. Um, we talked about how, you know, shipping it, which is, you know, one thing, but locally here. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. wow. Yes. The wow factor. That was Jay's first bite. Um, so cost-wise, talk us through that. Wow. So cost-wise, I mean, per box, they retail between 8 and $10 per box. Um, depending on where you get them from, you know, <laughs> obviously, Hold on. Spilling it all over my stuff. Oh, that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. Um, so obviously when I sell it to a retailer, I give them all the same whole, wholesale price. I tell them it's up to them what they retail it at. But if you do set the price too low, it's not going to be viewed as food. Right. And I want this to be viewed on the same level mm. as a prepped meal that you would buy, say from Fitzy Foods inside their fridge. Um, something like that, obviously it has a price point because it has value. It's real food. This is real food too, but the first glimpse you're going to see is donuts, pink sprinkles, frosting, stuff like that. So I want it to be on that same level as food. So that it's kind of justifies the price point. And I think it's important to highlight. I mean, you mentioned Fitzy Foods, uh, a great product, great quality product. And we've always said, you know, there's been this craze as far as like, you know, fit, uh, excuse me, um, prep meals companies that are coming out. So this is where quality is definitely going to need to stand out versus quantity. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen a push, which is surprising on the protein donut side. So I think you definitely have embraced something there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, even without that competition being there, you are delivering a quality product. Yeah. And it's important to let people know that. Well, I mean, you, you, dude, you have that angle. I mean, like they say, everything in life is about being first in. I mean, nobody did this. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got bars. Everybody's got like shakes or shots or whatever. But who's done this? Right. And no one would think of this no. angle either because because the donut is not typified as nutritious. Right. Yeah. You, you need Monica to get that chocolate out of your teeth. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably all over my face. Oh, well. And, and, oh, no, and Joe, we, we, work, bro. We, Thank we, you. We, we talked about, you know, Oscar talking about the donuts and Jake. Oh, yeah. Look at you. You got the best oh, wing. Right. You got the best wing. No, Monica has the wingman right there. He's got you some water. What's that? Go ahead and get in your donut now. Oh, I'm about Go to, ahead. I'm about get, to get, get in right now. Um, do you have other products that you plan on on, on laying out in the um, future? Yeah. I mean, I'm comfortable releasing what... Uh, or at least telling on air what I'm going to be releasing. Um, within the next month, hopefully by the start of the year, we'll be releasing a protein Oreo. 
So it's going to be a big version of an <laughs> Oreo guy, about the size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. it's going to be uh, about the size of your fist. I mean, <laughs> that it's already been done as far as the recipe. I've gotten everything down. Now it's just waiting, kind of waiting. I, I want this to grow a little bit more before the end of the year. And also I have certain family events that I want to enjoy before I release a new product. Because I know something like that, I mean, we all have Oreos. And the beginning of the year will be perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when really the New Year's resolutioners come out, I think this will be something to kind of take the edge off of starting that diet. So are you trademarking all of your products? That's that's actually something that we're working on. I mean, it's still, yeah, I say we like there's... Quick, yeah, I was yeah. say, that's something you got to do, bro. Yeah. yeah. People will steal The Chinese this will gank this stuff <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> they will gank this so fast. There will be a hundred of them. Like, I, Jay just said the Chinese yeah. will gank it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have to say, it, it this was not by any means the first product of its kind. Um, there is another company on the East Coast that was the original company that did this, and I actually tried their products first. I took a look at the ingredients, and the ingredients and the compounds of this, like I said, it's whole real foods. Right. I mean, there's no artificial flour, there's nothing that we're adding into it, there's no type of hormones we're adding, things like that. Um, I mean, like I said, it's egg whites, sweet potatoes, and whey isolate as the No, base. listen, I just ate it, and it tastes bomb. I awesome. Mean, it's Fresh, it's um, it's moist, which is awesome for yeah. a donut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to have that moist yeah. taste. You don't. When most of the time, when people hear protein, they think, "Oh, it's going to be dry. dry. It's going to be right. tasteless." Right. Um, I'm not going to like it. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and all those bad things. And let's talk about that. I mean, the quality of protein that's going in is, is crucial because, I mean, you see so many different types right. of protein mm -hmm. out there. And this is a, a whey isolate, you said, yes. right? So it's quality whey isolate protein that's going in your donut. That's important yeah. to know. So the ingredients, it's not just the ingredients. It's the quality of the ingredients that are going in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's hormone-free protein. It's actually 619 muscle protein to be exact. Excellent. Perfect. And, Joey, uh, give somebody the contact information if they wanted to reach out and either get this product in their store or, or be able to start testing it out? Um, so all our information is on www.sandiegoprotein.com. We have a store locator on there. We also have our contact info on there to get in touch with us. We want first dibs at that Oreo, protein all Oreo. Right. Protein Are we allowed Oreos. to call, call it an Oreo? I, I mean, technically, that. I what, cannot what use the word Oreo, yeah, that's so I mean, that's that's kind of where well, I'm running into a wall. Let's call it protein cookie. All right, we'll protein, just do it. I want first dibs on that protein that's cookie. That's just so bland, calling no. it a protein cookie. Sexy protein cookie? No. <laughs> <laughs> we could go with that. Oreo-ish? Oreo-ish. That actually, that might be it. Then I get the first one, then Joey. The Oreo-ish cookie. There you go. Something Looking, like that. We're coming up with new stuff on it. Right? Right on, guys. Nice uh, work. Good, good stuff. Uh, Joey Wilder, San Diego Protein Company. Check them out. Good things coming in 2016. Thank you, Joey, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, when we get back, Jay Campbell, the definitive testosterone replacement therapy manual. We'll go through it together and figure out uh, which one of us shouldn't be eating pink sprinkled donuts anymore. You've been listening uh, to Court Hour Live on ESPN 1700. We'll be back. Awesome.